3.0 was launched and with it upgraded every Guardian's toolkit with plenty of new, fun and exciting builds. This will be the first build video I've ever made, so a like and or a sub would be greatly appreciated. And feedback is always very important to me. In today's video we're gonna go over a build that is very strong and fun for solar hunters. It lets you go invisible, heal, get a very strong damage bonus and you're super way more often. So let's get into it. Starting off I will be teaching you guys about how the build works at the base level and then we will slowly add all the complementary items to hopefully make this video very easy to understand. So at the very core of this build is the aspect knock him down which refunds your throwing knife when you get a kill with it as long as you are radiant. And the fragments Amber of Torches, which makes you and nearby allies radiant when you hit an enemy with your throwing knife. These two combined make sure you always get your knife back as long as you get a kill with it. My throwing knife of choice is Knife Trick because it applies Scorched when you hit a target with them. And if that Scorch ends up killing the target, you will also get your melee ability back. It's also pretty easy to hit, which is always a bonus. So with this combo, you have infinite knife throws as long as you kill targets with them, but this combo is very known at this point, so let's make it stronger, shall we? First of all, let's talk aspects and fragments. I choose the aspects on your mark for the extra reload speed and the three extra fragment slots, and with my now four available fragment slots, five if you count Ember of Torches, we will pick Ember of Singing, Singanging, Sing I don't know how to say this, for the faster dodge, Ember of Solace for the increased Radiant and Restoration time, bumping them up from 10 seconds to 15 seconds, Ember of Eruption for better ignitions, and last but definitely not least, Ember of Ashes for more Scorched stacks, making it easier to ignite enemies. Whew, that was a lot. But that is what I find to be the optimal fragments to run. And I combine all of this with Gambler's Dodge, just in case I ever miss a knife I can instantly get it back. Alright now, let's talk Exotic. Assassin's Cowl is the helmet that both heals you and makes you invisible when you kill an enemy with a finisher or a powered melee kill. Are you starting to feel powerful yet? Because I know I am. Alrighty, quickly moving on to the mods that you should pair with this build. Now I'm not gonna go into any seasonal mods because this build will stand the test of time, but of course apply them where they fit. First mod of the build is Melee Wellmaker. This mod is the stepping stone for the rest of the build and what it does is pretty simple and straightforward. It gives you a well of light based on your subclass, so in our scenario, solar, when you get a powered melee kill. So as you can imagine, we're gonna proc this a lot. Next up is the well of life mod, that gives us regeneration when picking up solar well of light, which we will be creating with melee wellmaker. And this, mixed with assassin's cowl, will pretty much give us constant healing. We're also bringing in font of might for the increase to solar weapon damage when we pick up said wells. This mixes really well with things like Kala's Mini Tool, Gallahorn, 1K, and Sleeper Simulant. Furthermore, we're adding Font of Wisdom for the increased intellect when picking up wells, so we can get our super as fast as possible. The last mod is up to your preference. Stuff like Elemental Time Dilation will increase how long the buffs from the other mods will last, Seeking Wells will make it a lot easier to pick them up, but you can also go for Bountiful Wells, which will plain and simply just give you two wells instead of one for each kill. Personally, I'm rocking Time Dilation, because that's what I feel like I will get the most use out of. But the two other mods are very strong as well. This build is very strong, giving you invis, healing and a very strong damage boost on demand. Being Radiant at the same time as Font of Might kicking in will result in a 45% increase to all of your solar weapons. So personally, I love running around with my Callus Mini Tool with Incandescent and either Gallahorn, 1K Voices, or Sleeper Simulant. This will guarantee that you will make quick work of any bosses with your damage boost while keeping you alive easier than ever. I have put a link to my DIM loadout at the top of the description of this video, so by pressing that link, your DIM will automatically create the loadout with all the correct fragments, aspects, and mods that you can instantly start using. So guys, that has been the video explaining my new favorite Solar Hunter build. As I mentioned in the intro, this has been my first video going over a build like this, so any and all feedback would be amazing. I really want to thank anyone that is still here, you guys are the true goats of this community for bringing the watch time up. If you enjoyed the video and plan to give this build a try, please leave a like and maybe even a sub. 
I also stream every Monday, Wednesday and Sunday over at my Twitch, so if you want to chat with me and the rest of the community, that is the place to go. A link to my Discord will be in the description if you want to be a part of an awesome community. And not to brag or anything, but the server is closing in on 100 members as of writing this script. One final thing to end the video on. If you want to be the very best, like no one ever was, please leave a comment on this video about what color your toothbrush is. Mine is pink. Alright folks, thank you so much and have a good one. I'll see you next time.